In this video, I'm going to be testing out and reviewing the Toner TC40 USB microphone, which is right here in front of me. And yes, it has RGB lighting on the front and on the back. I'm going to talk about all the features of this microphone and we're going to be doing an audio test. But first, I got to give you guys my disclaimer that this product was given to me to do a review and this video is not sponsored. So anything good I'm going to say is based off of my experience. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So first off, I like that this microphone comes with everything you need right out of the box and even a pop filter. And it's a pretty good pop filter, not like the one in my last video where it was flimsy and it kept falling off and I didn't even bother to use it. So pretty much everything you need to get started with podcasting or starting to record your audio is right out of the box. And it looks like it's pre-assembled too. All I had to do was clip the mount to my desk, put the arm mount on it, and then attach the microphone. And that was it. So as far as setup goes, it really can't get any more easier than that. Also, the arm mount has a built-in headset holder, so that's a nice way to keep your desk organized and you'll always have your headset right there when you need it. On the front of the microphone, you got your volume dial, so I can go ahead and control the volume very easily. I can go ahead and lower it down a little bit right now on the fly and I can go ahead and put it back to the way I had it, which is about the middle. I think that sounds pretty good. And on the back of the microphone, you got a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio, which is something that I am not doing right now, but I should be doing it. My audio cable is like all the way over there. I don't feel like getting it, but the audio is fine. I checked. I think every content creator has been in a situation where they recorded a video or they recorded some audio and they realize, oh, my audio sounds bad or that didn't really record the way I wanted it to. And you have to go back and start over. So take advantage of that headphone jack. On the top of the microphone, you got a quick mute button. So all you got to do is just tap on it and it will mute right away. So let's say like you're across the room and you're having a quick conversation. You want to make sure your microphone is muted. You don't want to say anything when your microphone is live. So when a microphone is muted, it will turn red and you can see it. It is red, so you don't got to worry. And I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm recording with the microphone right now. Um, that should be obvious, but just in case, you know, I'm not wearing a lavalier microphone. I'm recording directly with this microphone. So this is how it sounds. And I'm going to go ahead and slide back just a little bit so you can hear how it sounds from a distance. This is about uh, two feet-ish. That's about two feet, yeah. I'm not going to go all the way back. I can't go all the way back. I just want to add that having the arm mount is very handy for when you're done recording or live streaming. You can easily just slide the microphone and, you know, not have it clutter up your desk like this. And just put it to the side. And the microphone is stable. It's not wobbling. It's not moving. You can also adjust the microphone, put it upwards, downwards, in any way you want. And finally, we have to talk about the RGB lighting because it is pretty cool. The microphone looks like a lightsaber and I love it for that. You don't really have any controls of the lighting, but that's fine. It just looks really cool. It's just going through its cycles. Like I said, when you tap the microphone, it will turn red and that's really the only color control you have, but that's fine. You don't need to get crazy with the customization. I like it the way it is. But yeah, if you're live streaming on Twitch and you have a gaming setup, you already have an RGB keyboard and lights like I have. Um, this is gonna fit in perfectly. So I've only been using this microphone for a few days, so I can't say too much about it, but so far it's been really great. The arm mount is pretty good, stable, it gets the job done. Uh, there are no extra fancy features like noise canceling, but you can always use NVIDIA broadcast for that. And especially for the price, just like all the other microphones from Toner, a lot of them are under $100. So this one is very affordable, and I think it's a great starting point for someone who wants to start live streaming, making a podcast, or doing YouTube videos like this. So again, that is the Toner TC40 USB condenser microphone. It is available now. And if you're interested, I'll have a link in my video description below and in the comments.